because this one is freaking epic. Dare I say it's even a little bit more fun than the Grom? Uh, I hope Arma guys don't show up at my door with pitchforks now. Try to get a quick speed run in before the GPS's battery dies. I wasn't planning on running it today, but the car mysteriously fixed itself. And look at it go now. I honestly don't know what happened to it. I brought it to work because it just didn't want to didn't want to work right. And I set it up on my workbench and uh, turned it on and the thing just shot off my workbench all by itself went flying across my shop floor and uh, slammed into one of my 10,000 pound lifts <laughs> and then it started working perfectly fine so let's see how fast this little guy can go oh I forgot to start it And come on. Let's try that again. Now that we got it started, let's see what this little guy can do. I'm going to guess somewhere around 25 ish, maybe. Sure is stable. One last pass here. <laughs> it is a it's a very stable little guy. This thing is a totally different truck from what it was yesterday when I was trying to drive it. Oh, I see 23.8. That thing might be too dead. Might be too dead to read. Should have charged it up more. Come on. Give me a read. You mean GPS signal is too poor? Eh, screw it. We saw a 23.8, so we'll call it 24, call it 23, whatever. It's over 20. Let's go take it off road. So even though this little guy didn't really cost me anything, I was still bummed yesterday that it just didn't want to work right had no reverse or intermittent reverse and would randomly go wide open throttle and drive and steering worked but that was about it <laughs> and it it's almost like it tried to commit harry carry today and drive itself into a, a very large car lift and well it's been working perfectly fine ever since then <laughs> it's it does handle very well. I drove it for an entire battery pack at work, uh, just on a concrete surface, racing around with my buddy's blacks on, and uh, was very surprised at just how well it handles just normal, like racetrack kind of driving, oval oval track driving. Well, I really wanted to see how it would do, and this rough stuff. <laughs> this thing is a lot of fun. Can't quite flip itself over. Diffs are a little bit, uh, a little bit too loose for that. But I think, I think they're set just about right for this thing's size and this kind of driving. 
Oh, this thing is a blast out here. Oh! <laughs> Another walk. And woo, it is hot today. The actual is 104, and uh, I think the phone is telling me the real feel is like <laughs> 108. <laughs> At least I get my steps in today. Footage. This little guy tears up the surface though. <laughs> Wish I would have brought my ramp. I wish I could stop flipping it and chasing it. Spend as much time walking around going after it as I do actually driving it. <laughs> Man, this little guy is a blast. I did some research today to, to see if Fair RC was the only place that sold them, and they are not. My my local hobby stores got them in stock. They're like uh, 130 bucks there. Well, what did I do? Pick up a rock in the back? Yep, oh, sure did. <laughs> Whew, it's nasty. Nasty hot today, boys. <laughs> You know, I love Texas, but golly, I hate these freaking summers. <laughs> Can't wait for winter to get back here. I'm going to be doing a lot more bashing videos when winter gets here. <laughs> it just it gets so miserable to stand out here. I don't want to do it for more than, a, more than one pack. Heck, even some days one pack is too much. Look at this little guy go. It's just eating this stuff up. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is an epic, epic little RC car. I stand fully corrected with my thought of yesterday of not really caring for it. Now that it works properly, it works properly. <laughs> I dig it. This is the little uh, Easy RC Colorado from uh, that I got from Fair RC. This was on their uh, I forgot if it was seventy bucks or eighty dollar uh, mystery box. So you pay them the seventy or eighty bucks, and they send you two RC cars that are worth at least a hundred bucks a piece. And in this case, they sent me this guy, which they sell for hundred and fifty, uh, and the Bronx which is basically just a, a 118 size Bronco rock crawler. And uh, I'm gonna have to get that, that Bronx out and uh, do some rock crawling with it. Cause it's a good looking little truck, but it's, it's almost toy grade. It's not quite toy grade, but it's balancing the line between toy and hobby grade. This on the other hand is fully hobby grade. Uh, you've got a standalone, brushless ESC that the box says it handles 2S but I've got a sneaking suspicion it can actually handle 3. I don't know how many kV the motor is but being that it's the exact same speed even uses the exact same control arms and differentials and center shaft as the Black Zon slider turbo I have to assume uh, kV has got to be around 5,000 maybe maybe as high as 5,400 um but it's it's uh, you know standard three wire servo it's got a nice cooling fan on the heat sink on the motor you get a lot of little bashing rig for your money it's uh it's faster than the granite grom about the same price as the granite grom but you get a brushless system and you get a cooling fan that uh only the typhon and the mojave groms get not not the uh granite <laughs> this little guy is a blast <laughs> and tumble wumble as kev talbot would say footage 
Yeah, I'm impressed with it. You know, 150 bucks at Fair RC, $130 at um, at Hobby Town. It's well worth it. I think it's about 130 bucks on Amazon as well. And they look like they've got pretty much everybody's got replacement parts for it. Hobby Town's got replacement parts and Amazon, eBay. So while it's not quite as easy to get parts for it, like uh, you know Armas or Traxxas. You can't still get them, and the parts are cheap. Well, GoPro number one has just thermaled on me. And that's after only being out here like 10, 12 minutes. So that should tell you just how miserably hot it is today. Ugh. So I don't know how much footage I lost. Hopefully not too much there. GoPros are weird about how they like to delete footage when they thermal themselves off, so... Hopefully I didn't lose too much of it. Yeah, I was wrong yesterday. This thing is awesome. It's epic. It's fun. I like it. Look at a freaking wheelie. <laughs> and it's so stable. Those shocks do a wonderful job absorbing all the nastiness. <laughs> bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. I dig it. All right. This is a great little cheap basher. Brushless fan cooled I like it see if we can see the light in this light hey there you go <laughs> I still can't believe that it's driving perfectly fine now after it tried to uh, Harry carry itself kamikaze itself into a big old lift I've been out here about 15 minutes now, give or take, after doing a half dozen speed passes that uh, weren't able to get a real reading on, and now bashing it out here for another 12 to 14 minutes, and it is still going strong. Wish I would have brought my ramp. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. <laughs> Always happy when I don't have to go chasing it. And that Colorado body looks excellent. That pearl white, that pearl blue is just so nice. Even while we were at work, uh, a blue Colorado showed up for state inspection. No, I am not the inspection guy. And uh, the blue was about a perfect match. The body lines were perfect. So, good job, Easy RC, on, uh, on that body. You guys made it look just like an actual Colorado. Yeah, this thing just takes the punishment. Maybe that's what it, what it wanted. Maybe that's why it slammed itself into a pole. I was being too easy on it and it, it wanted to be bashed. So it showed me how it likes to be driven and then let me take the controls. What a epic little rig. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna call that a win. It is just too, too dang hot out here. My feet are on fire. Oh, I just felt this GoPro and this GoPro is cooking. So it's probably about to shut off on me too. But uh, yeah, if you want an awesome little uh, brushless basher, uh, 130 bucks most places. Um, hey, Fair RC, I love you guys. 
I like how you guys do business. You guys are a lot of fun to work with. But, uh, you know, heads up. If everybody else is selling it for 130 you guys might want to drop the price 20 bucks. But then what do I have to complain for? I literally paid 35 bucks or 40 bucks for it. If I split the cost of the two RC trucks that I got together, because I honestly can't remember if I paid 70 or 80 bucks, but uh, keep an eye out for their uh, for Fair RC's mystery box deals, because when they do those mystery box deals, you never know what you're gonna get. Like right now, they're doing uh, one tenth scale bashers for 120 bucks uh, in the mystery box. So you might get two really cool ones. You might get a cool one and a lame one, or who knows. But $120, worth the gamble. This was definitely worth the $80 gamble. I've got so many this scale bashers, I might have not have bought this thing otherwise, but uh, now that I have it, I'm glad I do, because this one is freaking epic. Dare I say it's even a little bit more fun than the Grom? Uh, I hope Arma guys don't show up at my door with pitchforks now. <laughs> All right, you guys have a good one. I'll catch you on the next video.